everybody, uh, welcome back. Increase from the Astral Express. It states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. So, um, my laptop died while I was trying to record, well, stream all of this. So, let me just re-tell what happened. Basically, we're here at Penacoli. Um, we went through this memory alternative asteroid belt. So we met Archeron. She kind of led us through the maze, helped us out, and she asked a few asked a few questions. And then we woke up, and now we're here at the hotel. And there seems to be a problem issue of something with the maze reservation. So let's just get into this. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express for Platinum Guest Rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Kimiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Uh, something wrong? Uh, yes. Your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... Uh... Show prof profile. What's happening? Hold on, so something's not right. Hold on, something's not right. I don't know what just happened. It just went out the connection. Give me one moment here. That should be it. I know, it's really, really tough. Connection. I hate it. Alright, that should be good. Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charming Festival. Pentagon is the most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express. Please do not make it harder for her. Okay. We are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. Hmm. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Okay. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? Uh... I've been waiting here for more than ten minutes. Do you know how many credits ten minutes is worth to me? 
It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Hmm. Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Pentatoni before getting to know each other more elaborately? Okay, I don't know why that showed up, but something <laughs> showed up on the screen. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends, especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Panicone trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. Okay. I'm glad you have put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... He said to do it. Ali, just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Panacone. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentatoni. How interesting. Hmm. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. After our express guest, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? You're... Oh. oh wait a minute. Probably me goes get so I'm here with stuff. I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. It really is Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Pentaconi like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am the best of everyone. Pentaconi is my hometown. But I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Pentaconi. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. My senior? Oh, Aren't they I a siblings? I don't know. Uh, please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Alley to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your room as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Oh, nice. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. 
thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. Hmm. Just that being in color is kind of a little sus. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Panacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just one surprise after another. But since that Mr. Which day was he? <laughs> Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally. Hope we didn't run into any more trouble. How does the saying go? Trouble comes in pairs? What? <laughs> There's also the saying, from misfortune comes bliss. Never heard of those. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allen. That's just right there. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <sighs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your dreamscape path. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dreams, save your favorite happy bits, and create a dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. <laughs> Regarding the method of usage, the dreamscape path will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. Alright! Let's move out! Okay. Dream advisory. Maintain a calm mind. Uh, please enter the dream weighing on your back. Please not attempt to dream while facing down, kneeling, or other positions. Will this will memonize? The risk of drowning. Please do not adjust the hypnosis beforehand. Please do not enter the dream naked. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I mean. Holy. <laughs> Uh, please do not assume the identity of another individual. The family respects every guest in the identity, identity and privacy. On behalf of the Oak, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Irish families, we wish you the happy dreams. Okay. I gave them a crown. Okay, uh... Um... No, no, screw you. I'm playing her as a crown! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay. A little interesting. All right, let's head over here. You can actually play a dream world. I heard that Penacony transformed the dreamscape into a majestic metropolis. What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait. Our rooms are down this way. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? This reminds me of, like, the hotels in Las Vegas. I'm just saying. Like, you get, like, a whole bunch of hallways, and there's, like, a little lobby area. Some people think this is, like, the L.A. of, you know, Star Rail. I beg a differ, since I also been to L.A. Just a little bit. Oh, these lounges? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely somewhat inspired by Las Vegas hotels. We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Well, how about a drink first? Penacone Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Penacone to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Oh? Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the express made its warp jump. Also, the express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Hmm. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a mask tools trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers, or Inquisition spirits, could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Celeron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. Hmm. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this Watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? Hmm. It's possible. 
possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Pentum or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Hmm. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. Uh... I too found out about the in-fight thingy. Bruh. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Pentagon? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Uh, there are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Huh. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Uh, hello? How for Tilius. <laughs> we meet again. Is this your room? <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. Um. Uh. Were you the one that arranged to arrange transfer it to me? Uh, your voice is a little strange. Of course. What, you thought the family acted simply out of their own goodwill? Pentagoni's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? Mm. <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? What do you want to talk about? Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, 
you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. Hmm. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. <laughs> you possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. <laughs> Miss Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're acting good. Huh? You don't have to answer me now. <laughs> Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. Uh, I will think about this. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? Oh? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine, because... Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing in my room? Uh, your room. <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Wait, what? What? What's happening? Hold on. <laughs> <a reminder. laughs> this place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. I didn't open the door. What? <laughs> Thanks. Why haven't you left? Eh? I said, why haven't you left? <laughs> I was just teasing. Please forgive me. This is indeed your room. I saw that man snooping about while I was in the hallway. It didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. Huh? I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. I have a strange feeling about this. Anyway, as long as you're alright. I should return to my room too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. 
but I wish to know. Okay. Have we met somewhere before? I was about to ask too. Yes. It was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. The blink of a sob in my head. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. Do you still remember me? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Hmm. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death. And they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Uh, is there something else? Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Uh, that way. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape pass's instructions. Oh, a new sticker. Yes. <laughs> oh cool, we got a little TV going on. Although it's a little weird that it's in the middle of a room. Welcome to Penacony, honored guest. Interesting. Please step into the dream pool and let go of the sorrows and worries of life. Okay. <laughs> you approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room. Fragrance permeating the air. Together, these two elements envelope you in their embrace. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious. The rem reminiscent of ripened fruits and a, and a distant ocean paints by the hues of a sun's setting sun. Perhaps it's time to enter the dream. All right. You curl your body laying down in the center of the dream pool. The ice the icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear. <laughs> oh, ASMR, okay. <laughs> Accompanied by the tolling of evening evening bells. The wild wind rustles through the 
barren plains, while night nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dream. It, ratio why the long face oh he's here I, okay. I, just I was like wait a minute <laughs> handsome bust of yours your mate by four minutes and 16 seconds you better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall otherwise I suggest not tangling with the nameless <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them Glamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? D where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. Oh. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Andalore? Oh. <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler rest Penicone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Penicone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. Not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? Then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Oof. I did not mean to offend. None taken. 
But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Afghans. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. <laughs> Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I uh, can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt... off. Help me look into her. Huh? He left. <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. Peace, kid. So this is the dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out, and what was that weird noise just now? The dreamscape hotel under construction. Please receive instructions from the home service app and enter the through the designated. Hmm. A uh, note? The un the impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it, and then you shall be granted an audience. Hello there. Welcome to the Gallery of Thought. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. We meet again. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The Reverie in the Dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. So, what happened to the reverie? Oh, you're asking me about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. So, what's this golden hour? You perhaps And not the song golden hour. <laughs> but I can explain it one more time. Golden Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penicone, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with reality. So don't worry. Also, I picked up a note here. Note? Did you find it in the room? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. So how do I get to Golden Hour? You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. All right, bye. Uh huh. Interesting. Behind this door is the real Penicone. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Let's see. Oh, look at pom pom in the middle. That's pretty cool that they changed that.
they did not. They did not. They did not do the meme. They did not do the meme! The dead meme! The Dragon Ball meme. Am I hallucinating? <laughs> Like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Rock, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Robin gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with hers. She smiles. And you see ripples shimmering in the deeps, in the depths of her lake green eyes. Followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of the time space. You resonate with and become attuned to this serene fusion and frequencies. Your heart drums leading this symphony. Don't worry, just relax. You'll be feeling this normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. They chant, instinctively compels, and this stagrant fluid in your chest begins to flow out again. A gentle warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. Your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and close your eyes it moves tender and compassionate you felt contempt and drift into a deep slumber you open your eyes and feel a fatality like no other the difficulty okay. you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory Did you just brainwash me? I nearly changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. You mean I can levitate in air? Well, theoretically you can. But it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, you don't really have an in-depth understanding of the memoria yet. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! This looks like Times Square, basically. <laughs> awesome! We can send messages even in the dream. Are you there yet? Uh, I guess, yeah. 
Yay! I'm gonna touch with Himiko and Mr. Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dusk. Uh. Hold on, you're texting too much. Planning on to check out the au auction. It's going to be a pain to meet up again, so why don't we just split up for now? You're at the golden hour. You're at the golden hour? I heard Dreamscape sales stores are super famous. You can please check it out. Can you please check it out for me, pretty please? <laughs> it's really fun, and I'll head over there next. Should I visit it? This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. Let's check out this guy. Oh, we get us. Um, what are they called? I forgot what they're called. Like a martini? Martini. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Sales rep. Wait, did that billboard just preview? I mean, we're in a dream. So anything can happen, right? Right. Uh. What's this? But I Oh Use a sticker Use the other sticker Nice, okay Yeah, but it feels like I've been here before. <laughs> sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? Oh, hello there. <laughs> you talking to me? Is this the memory of his? Dr. Edward does not 
I get a guarantee is regarding the authenticity of dream bubble content. Dreams are just dreams. So enjoy. Let's begin. Trace both of us and rest your forehead against the dream. I touch it. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? What's going on? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. The friend details are missing from the dream bubble. Your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! Who's speaking? My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even a warning is a transmitted voice in my TV. Well, that's muted. I don't know. But, yeah. Because I don't have enough room on my laptop to play Star Rail. <laughs> I do it on my phone. Sadly. However, I can make some adjustments to your dream bubble to improve your experience. Even meaning you can choose anyone's voice for active villains. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it from your subconscious. Uh, anyone's voice will do. Well, I guess. There must be some. You're close to, unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Uh, Papa. No. Myself in a different gender? Sure. Your voice is different. is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. To you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykean Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. You plead guilty to this charge? Uh, yes, I plead guilty. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the restroom, where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. What the hell? What? <laughs> you plead guilty to this charge? Uh, yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. 
This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly Pogo Pies! And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving! Do you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. <laughs> Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express Data Bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's. Do soul glass really exist in the era? That's it. <laughs> this dream that reminds of what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the Can you turn out the music over there? <laughs> <laughs> Almost expected something like this. This dream button is indeed Tyson. Still, please give it some consideration. Where are you going to buy? No way, that's too expensive. What a shame. Please come again. Oh, ah, as this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a stickle for you. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape past and commemorate your unique trip to Tentacle. Can that music be turned down? I was hoping I would find some clues about the meaning of this up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. She went that way. Get her! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Run. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Okay, how can I help? Hey, look! She has an accomplice. Ha! Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go! Yeah, this is gonna be really scuffed because screening That'll take more than on my phone to my computer so you guys can see it, it's just always been like this. And yeah. There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. I'm asking questions. Stay by to breathe in. There's not really much I can really do. Oh shit. You'll pay for this. 
uh, let's have you first. So you can heal up Kafka over here to die and you're too good to me. Just in time. Just a little something. Hey, you're too good to me. Bam. Oh. Okay then. Okay, he explodes himself. Okay, <laughs> interesting. That's enough, boys. Oh, look who it is. Sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is... We're trying to apprehend a stowaway, and that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. <sighs> well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Bruh. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. So what about the stowaway? The Bloodhound family are guards at the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. Oh. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are like... <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Nice to know you. See you in the next update. <laughs> if it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Uh, oh, I forgot I what I was going to say. It's only right to return the favors I receive. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? How did you know? You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. Big screen. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. Hmm. When there are no acting gigs, 
I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> don't you have work today? Well, I'm not booked for any performances. And most visitors to Pentacone don't need tour guides anyway. They're all big shots who have their own entourage with them. Oh, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Let's go. Now you have a job now. Let's go. Over here. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. Wait, hold on. I want to collect this. Oh, let's stick What? What do you want? Get the fuck away from me. Yeah! F fuck a weirdo. <laughs> Watch your step now. What step? What? <laughs> First stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the dreamscape is the OT Mall. The dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything fancy. Items purchased in the dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! Buy you a nice oh, she's so nice. Give them a kid's meal. <laughs> We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice? Nope. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza. Oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. Uh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. This is Pentacoli's most ironic dish. Please take your pick. Oh, yeah. We get pizza, french fries with ice cream. Grape soda, although it looks like a martini with a screw. Oat cake rolls. Kind of looks like just a cake. And then you get your burger, and then your ice cream. Hell yeah, I'm taking the ice cream. I'm also taking this. Uh, then this. Ah, uh, I'll be fine. No! No! No more, no more, no more. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Are you done ordering? Then I'll pay up. I love their oat cake rolls. I get one from here every day. Isn't that expensive? Well, that's why I only have one per day. Um. Okay, I guess. <laughs> what we eat? It's time to head to the next stop. Okay, give him a kid's meal, you know, like McDonald's. <laughs> I still gotta get in line in a dream. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Grox Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. Quite an interesting place we have here. Hey! <laughs> I'm walking here. <laughs> I do 
Let me show you something interesting. Okay. Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Penicone's famous cartoon character. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. Oh wow, he's like Mickey Mouse, but... Taller. <laughs> he looks cute. Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker. Watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penicone, the founder of the dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claimed that he was exiled to Penicone as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. Hmm. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penicone in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penicone knows this name. Cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? I think I, I'm allergic to camera lenses. Aren't you going to charge me for a live for just taking a picture, aren't you? Because New York, baby! Let's go. Of course not. What were you thinking? Well, that's the opposite of New York in these cities in America. They will charge you just for a picture. You hear a pitiful cry for help. The cry is coming from Clocky's eyelash. Uh -huh. What's that? Oh, it looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me up! Help me! The eyelash begins to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Say cheese. Perfect. <laughs> it's done. It came out great. You're Wait. Photogenic. There's two of her. There's one on this corner. And there's one that's talking to me. You look, you took a nice pick, pick uh, with Clocky, but the eyelash is still begging for help. I'll investigate. Yank. After letting the adorable, it should be an adorable chirp, okay, whatever. The 
bird flies away. Before it left, it seems to have offered some kind of reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet with it again there. See just what exactly the nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Um. I rescued a bird. A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> um, I don't think I saw it. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. I'm becoming more schizo than I already was. Origami bird. Interesting. Building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacoti. Okay, but how does one get over there, though? It's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacoti Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacone with everlasting peace. And here we are! The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look! There's even a telescope here! When the Charmony Festival arrives, Remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Gotcha. Hold on. I got a new sticker. The majestic hall of art. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. Firefly, you need to watch out with these. <laughs> you gotta watch out. You gotta. Watch where you're going when you cross the street. That place up ahead is Idine Park. I know it's a dreamscape, but come on. <laughs> it's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. At least get a little safety. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacone. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glass Enterprise. Soulglad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Syntagen. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Huh. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soulglad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Therapism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soulglad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. The slots. Gamble? Hey, yo, Gamble? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susu juice, known as Dream Wheat, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soulglad is in Penacone's dreamscape. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of therapism. She absolutely freezes. In that fleeting moment, you notice a caution shift of the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow. Or perhaps somewhere behind you? What you looking at? Firefly returns her warm smile, gentle disposition. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Weird. Can we gamble? I want gamble. Gamble. Oh, gamble. 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 Ooh. See, see these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performers? That's the sweet dreams truth. In Penacone, many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of 
the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams Troop to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. And, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt Troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some ID tokens for you. Yo, wait, get the gamble. Let's go. Hi there. This is my friend's <laughs> first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some ID tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Pentaconi to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Y'all, let's go. Let's do it. Let's well, a fucking gamble. Let's see. Which one should we try first? Slots. Dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. Ooh, slots, baby, let's go. Um, when I was in Vegas, I did do a little gambling and I did the slots and blackjack for a little bit. Uh Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Wait, there's more? There's more. I'm gonna put them down there. All right. Wait, there's more, more stuff to do. Oh, there's a sticker I haven't used, or what? Ah. Uh, where am I gonna put all these stickers? Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's, let's do so- Let's do it! Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me, big, big! All right, give me, give me, give me, shh, big money, let's go. Give me big money. No. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck on this. Oh, I get to. Oh, we get to do all seven. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna suck at this. It's all part of the real life of gambling. Come on, big money. Let's go. Nope. Nope. 
Come on, come on, baby, let's go. She's heading toward the bar. Are we? Let's go for a different one. <laughs> All right, we got four. We got four. Let's go. Let's go! Let's fucking go, boy! One more, one more, one more. Give me a big prize. Hey, wouldn't you look at that? What's, what's, what's over here? What's up? There's like three. Damn, I wanna play that one. Am I only allowed? Ooh! Ooh, the lucky wheel. Oh, the lucky wheel. All right, let's go, let's go. Big money, big money, big money. Let's go, go, go. Nope. All right, we got one more token to go. Let's go, let's make it big, let's make it big, let's make it big. Hey, it's not too bad, but. All right, let's go speak with her. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, big money, big prize one. Sticker collection. Ah. Did you have fun? Penagoni's golden hour? Pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not surprised to hear that from a nameless. If you ask me, I'd say it was the unity of the family that brought this dream into existence. And the dream has become just as loving and forgiving as the family. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. Aren't you a local? I am. At least for now. At least for now, huh? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Okay. Did you travel here alone? I have friends that went to other dreamscapes. Oh, I see. I'm not sure whether you realized it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Hmm. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about... Five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave. <laughs> oh. He looks like a skilled fighter, the covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Ah, uh, I know what he's talking about now. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. Yeah. 
Um. <laughs> so I guess he's like 5'9". So if we compare him to like other characters, we could probably guess how tall they are too. Interesting. But Sampo. How? Huh? You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your LO6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, um. Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Uh, it's, this is the tour guide. Yeah, not March. My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. <laughs> it's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, <laughs> and I'm an old pal of her. Yes, nice to meet you too. Ooh, seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. <laughs> Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. You're funny. <laughs> Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Uh, 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 Sampo. Hold on a minute. Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Uh, um. I, am I? Uh, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Uh, Sampo, I, I know you're on, like, what, this vacation, but... <laughs> Am I allowed to show this on st stream? No, it can't be that kind of adult entertainment, right? It can't be that kind, not in... Not in not, 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 not in Star Rail. Not, 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 not that kind. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Oh. Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Okay. Oh, we just teleport in there. Okay. Tap to select a plate. Expand energy to activate the plate. Rotate direction. And tap to reset. Okay. I think we did something like this before. Activate. Rotate. 
All right. Wow, interesting. Okay. I'm a little scared. The lower level of the commercial district? Bingo. Our destination is right there. Pepe Pepeshi Salon. The salon. The salon. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little worried about what this salon is gonna be. I mean... I this is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Tempo. Uh, that guy is a bit of a scoundrel. Hey, look at that big money, big money, eh? I mean, I can always resize it, but I don't want to right now. Here we are again, pal. Huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Right. I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. My friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived. <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like you can't go in. Uh, what should we do? Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. <laughs> okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt. And everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. Clown? Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Miss Thunderbolt, huh? <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said to do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Oh, boy, what's going to be? Huh. Interesting that... items. A TV? A TV. Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This fine machine has a sense of aesthetic worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Okay. Hey. How about you try touching it and see what happens? I guess it could hurt. Well, I might be totally off base here, but I think there's something fishy with this TV. But it's fine if you want to give it a shot. I trust 
your judgment. The two almost synchronously turn their gaze towards you, or perhaps more precisely, it was three of them, including the guy with a trembling, oversized nose, sunglasses on the screen. Oh my god, it's Nax! Nax is on the screen! I'm gonna touch it. You take a deep breath, close your eyes, muster great courage, and resolve the weighty as three exclamation marks. <laughs> you reach out with a suspicious scream before you. Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a touch the screen for nags. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh my god. I'm the nags. I am him. What the hell? <laughs> I have no idea what happened. I don't know. I deal. I <laughs> I don't know what's happening. You desperately want to say these, but somehow you transform into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanu, a candidate and taciturn figure, a calm, reliable, cool leader of the werewolves from Penacani's. Famous long form cartoon Clocky. You silently pro protect the piece of Dreamville. According to your character traits, you can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. Let's let out a cool gusk. <laughs> you. <laughs> You make an extreme cool grunt. Man, real, really, it was so cool. You look so cool. You got swag now, pal. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or, you can just touch this TV. Fine, what do I need to do? You already completely understand the situation and decide to ask your old friend about the actions you should take next, but your character's design doesn't permit you to such a thing. You can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. You make a cool grunting noise. Have you thought about... <laughs> Why would you ever change back when you can be this cool? <laughs> Here it says, head to the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. All right. In the story of Hanu Adventures. Okay. <laughs> Just look at me. Just look at me. I'm so tiny. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Oh, look how small you become. Take 
probably destroy the balloon. Oh, so I could change back to destroy it? Wow, interesting. This is very interesting. <laughs> what out, cool grunt? What out, cool? <laughs> so cool that the birdie tilts his head at you. Hmm. Hmm. You can't talk at all. Forget. Thank you, Chip. I believe you now. I'm having fun. I don't know why I'm having fun right now. What's this? Using the fantastic rocket built by uh, Origami Bird. I know I should stop at some point, but I, I, I can't right now. This is so cute. Hey, look at that. All right, we probably need to go back to normal here. Yeah. Alright, how do I get over there, though? Hmm. All the way up there? It's Morbin to- oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. We'll return to normal form. It's morphing time. They did not. They did not. They did not do like, oh, it's morbid time. Nah, -uh, they did not. Shut up. Shut up. Nah, ah. -uh. All right. So I need to somehow get up there. So, I have to go this one. Hey, look at that. Morbid time, boys, it's morbid time. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it was quite fun. I see. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. It's like a handcuff, but one's cuff is a donut. Now that we've got <laughs> Fun. 
Um... Oh boy, here we go. We'll do this one and then I will be done for today. Oh, yeah, they are. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. <laughs> Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your transcape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect! Um, what's going on? And this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you wish to have to make. Then, in motion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced with people. Dream whatever... Any dream we want? You've got the picture. You've probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Yep. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly. Uh oh. Something's going on with her. But please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a illustration. Trust you to prepare all the necessary materials. Good. Have a look. All right, here they are. Your donation is appreciated. You retrieve it from the school. Now, calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. It's ready. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Oh. Ugh, what is this? Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? How did I end up here? This is part of my dreamscape. Bellabog is the setting for this dream. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Oh, yeah, I've done that before. It's weird. I'll be crazy. Is this another note? Become the garbage king, though the trash bags have long been broken. This all feels familiar. Oh, that's the thing about dreams. Anything can feel familiar. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you see. All right. <laughs> what? What? what the fuck? What is happening? <laughs> what is the fuck? What? How do you have a bad? Estevu Ashapan. It's a poco de sal. Are you related to Natasha? Hello. 
I'm not translating this. They are speaking in Sims. Uh, are you speaking in riddles? Let's go. <laughs> uh, what do I need to do? I'm confused. I think we all are. Uh, I don't even know where to go. Obtain three of these. Okay. Uh, do I just start talking? Listening. Three trash cans stand around each other, arguing. So what's your choice? I'm splitting it. Aimlessly, the watchful gaze of the three, you perfectly split the golden trash. Not even a clocky pizza can be divided this evenly. All right, um, I guess this guy. This particular trash can stands quietly. Its lid is chipped in faded paint. It is meticulously counting the roadside trash, occasionally sighing and scratching his head, as if it's struggling to memorize the astronomical number. Why are you counting? I need proof.
What sort of trash could Trash Can Kingdom hold? Curiosity peaked. You open the lid and see the first trash can. Unfortunately, there is, isn't any difference. Maybe Dr. Edward didn't have time to attend these details. There's a comic book inside this trash can. The pages are torn and damaged. It tells the adventure Tatalov was once a brave trash can with vigilance and willpower and defeated the colossal junk monster and saved a human from the monstrous maw. In order to repay Tatava, that human turned himself into a trash can. This is actually a horror story. <laughs> You see something unexpected, a true str stain. Yeah, to a true stain lining, lying inside the trash can, looking back at you. Die! <laughs> it is time to get rid of the people of the of this menace. You use your bat to tell it that this is a kingdom of preservation. Oh boy, here we are. <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. Lordy trash can. Lend me your strength. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Can this that doesn't really have any weaknesses or maybe it does I don't know I guess once applied it that has some sort of weakness oh oh well okay that's not good <laughs> how am I gonna hold on retreat All right. Yep, yeah, okay. That's not good either. Senior. Lend me your strength. And get this guy so they don't multiply. And restore. Now physical is applied. Oh shit. Okay. What the fuck? Dude, he's like over. Oh my god. Good times. Time to say bye. I don't know, bro. It's gonna be something. Just just a little something. Thanks. You're too good to me. This battle is unavoidable. What the hell? This 
is stupid. Huh? Uh, this is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. What's a bull crap? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm tired. And I think it, it, it's time to stop. So we'll stop there for now. Ready to squander the remainder of your day. Used to increase. Because it looks like I need some something. Some upgrades. I don't know. Probably an upgrade of so and so. Alright. I am going to stop here. Thank you everybody for watching this wonderful somewhat of sort of a stream. Let's see who shall I raid today. Hmm. No, that's not what I want to do. Who shall I raid? Hmm. And see if they can let me raid. I don't think we raided her. Holy crap, we went to 300 followers? Oh my god, thank you all. Uh Yeah, we'll do her. Uh we're going to raid Steli. She is No, we cannot. We cannot raid Steli. Okay. <laughs> we cannot raid her. Uh uh we raided him yesterday. No, no. I know. Uh, well, why not? We're going to raid Tech Guy 87. He is playing Double May Cry 5. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing ASMR. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.